text messages dealing, detailing an affair before three people were murdered. That took center stage today during testimony at Chad Daybell's trial. New specialist Lauren Steinbrecher is in Boise, Idaho, and explains why it's the timing of what Chad and his now wife, Lori Vallow Daybell, wrote that investigators find most troubling. The week finished off today with that former FBI agent who reviewed Lori's iCloud's account taking the stand, laying out text messages that Chad and Lori sent to each other days after Lori's husband Charles was murdered. Dozens of messages. I love you more than ever. I can't wait to be with you forever. Former FBI agent Doug Hart outlines what Chad Daybell and his now wife Lori Vallow Daybell wrote to each other just a few days after Lori's husband Charles Vallow was murdered and a few months before Chad's wife Tammy was killed. They had a clear plan to be with each other, to be uh, together. Hart read messages of the couple talking about their spiritual and physical romance, with no one appearing to grieve over Charles. He says, you are my wonderful best friend that I can't live without. He says he loves her so immensely that the whole universe knows it, and very soon the people on this little blue globe will know it too. In one message, Hart says Chad tells Lori he senses permanent freedom is coming. Hart saying that Chad also said Tammy may no longer be here. Chad Daybell says, I feel she will be gone by then. Who did you believe the her to be? Tammy Daybell. Outside of court, weighing in on the evidence. Is absolutely spot on. J.J. Vallow's grandfather, Larry Woodcock, believing the pieces are coming together. It's all related to the death of J.J., Tylee, Charles, and Tony. As the jury now sees what Chad himself said to Lori. The defendant's own words and writings, and that's, that's damning. That former FBI agent will take the stand again on Monday as testimony enters its third week. Lauren Steinbrecher, KSL 5 News.